Hi, I'm Sophia, and this is the last of my Cambridge 2023 vlogs. I filmed this one for sort of accountability and to keep track of my timings throughout the day, but it does feature a lot of my college, Murray Edwards, in beautiful weather, so it might be useful if you're applying, an offer holder, or just curious to see what it's like. The day started with a coffee and a stroll along beautiful, sunny and empty town centre of Cambridge, like it did most days of the week leading up to my last exams. I got back to Murray Edwards College and sorted my room out, did my bed, of course. I found that cleaning and organising has helped to get the day started and for me to stay productive, even if it's just 10 minutes of quick tidying up. So I grabbed my laptop and my now cold coffee and headed to the library. The Medwoods Gardens are especially beautiful in summer with flowers and vibrant colours, a contrast to the brutalist architecture. The college is very good on welfare and that they organise lots of activities for us, even during exam terms, such as an insect hotel. I was mainly focusing on grammar today, so I printed out a few worksheets and printing is very easy as it's activated with the university cam card and the charge then goes to termly fees. I settled myself in the library and started cracking on with Greek when I decided it was too hot, too sunny, and I went to get a hat and some water. A classic procrastination move for me. Because this is my first year of modern Greek, I went back to basics, consolidating prepositions, making quizlets, and making sure I completed any worksheets that I'd missed during term time. I decided to plan my day and week a little bit better to work even more productively. When my schedule is very tight, I make sure to plan when I'm seeing friends or having breaks, as well as leaving enough time for all my tasks to make sure I actually complete them. I was slightly overwhelmed with irregular Greek verbs here, but I kept going until it was time to meet my friends for brunch. I went round the back of college, past the amazing cow statue to let them in. Uh, when I was walking, I ate birds. We ventured up past the fountain court and briefly getting a glimpse of the beetles to get our sausage, eggs, hash browns and beans and eat them in the dome. As a modern college, we don't have an old-fashioned hall, but rather dome, where we have formals and dinners. We decided to explore the terrace of the bar that had recently opened, leading to interesting discussions. It depends on how you'd land. The bones and there's loads of bones in your feet. <laughs> and me throwing my hat off to see if I could land it in a flower pot. I did. Hat. Solid hat. Three of us procrastinators then decide for a change of scene. It's a very open balcony. It's a lovely college. Welcome people stealing Violet's bike. Oh yeah. How was Because she was on the bike. <laughs> she got stolen. So we ventured to the neighbouring Churchill College for what we want to be a picnic. Has all the picnic stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> but it was disguised as work in the sun and found a table and benches but we were distracted by sounds of what we thought was an ice cream van. No ice cream. Promise! Can you try ice cream vans? They will be. Longing for something refreshing, we went back to enjoy the sun. I got slightly warm and went back to see my friend Lily for a catch up and chat. Ah! <laughs> Before promptly returning to the library to find out I was slightly behind schedule. I continued catching up with my Greek, focusing on the difference between aorist and imperfect tenses. Had a brief seven minute nap, one of my favorite ways to reboost energy and bizarrely it does work for me. And then ended up going on a brief walkabout when I got an unexpected but lovely call from a friend. Back in the library, I got some irregular verbs and vocab learning in before getting hungry and definitely not using Google Translate and deciding I needed a bit of a treat and some apple juice. This, of course, prompted an Aldi trip. I didn't bring a bag, I didn't realise I'd leave with so much. Ah. With hands full and great joy at my break, I returned to college to have a snack for late lunch. Muffins for Katie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have to record myself being a good person. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I gathered all of my supplies again and journeyed to you guessed it, the library. The number of times I've done this walk today, insane. To do about an hour and a half work, sort of planning for a final German essay to do with waterscapes and man's conquest of nature, whilst conveniently sitting next to a man-made fountain. Refusing to carry a bag for some reason, I finished it off in my sunlit room before going to join Katie for dinner. Never mind. It's like a fed off in all of your- It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the same. That's just literal Maybe you always is. Discussing translation over dinner in true linguistics fashion. This is meta. It's <laughs> planning our timetable for after exams. <laughs> I don't really want to do work anymore. I'm kind of burnt out now. I want to go to bed. I'm not meant to go to bed yet. Maybe I'll go on a walk. 
I really know what to do. In these moments of deliberation, I was saved by the Ben, my great restless friend who proposed a late night walk. So I equipped myself with a coat and trotted along to discuss poetry, cross bridges, go under bridges, and explore a not so abandoned tent that caused us to scream and run away. Fueled by adrenaline and a productive day, I walked home and to bed, a cyclical journey from town to a beautiful domed college. I do want to say that compared to my last vlog, this day was a bit more productive because I was studying alone and in a quiet library. And while I did spend time with my friends, I set that time aside specifically to see them. So I actually enjoyed seeing them more. I also noticed how important it was for me to take breaks outside, whether it's going to Aldi or on a walk around the grounds. It was really lovely to get out from being cooped up in a library and just scrolling through my phone and get some fresh air. And I found that actually really helped me to think and plan things through. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm Hello. really burnt on their pets at the moment. <laughs>